can't see. Can't nope. Just spawn on the uh, injury. Postscriptum has been revived, so now the title of most criminally underrated milsim has been handed down to Beyond the Wire. You would be hard pressed to find a more visceral, immersive, and cinematic experience than Beyond the Wire here. Offworld Industries is on a roll right now, first bringing Squad back to its roots with the infantry overhaul, acquiring the rights to the most realistic World War II experience out there, and in today's video, Video, we're going to talk about why Offworld Industries' next move should be to give Beyond the Wire here the same treatment. It has been quite some time since you could find a full Beyond the Wire server, but when there is 50 German players slugging it out in the trenches against 50 English, American, French, or Canadian forces, there really is nothing else quite like it in gaming. What is up everybody and welcome to the military simulator, tactical shooter, and history based gaming channel. So I was invited to a Beyond the Wire event this past Saturday. Boy, am I glad I attended. Now essentially this event is completely public and really just an attempt to get as many players into a Beyond the Wire server as possible. Now the servers hold 100 players and every Saturday they manage to fill about half of it. This game is pure chaotic fun. Now it's definitely at its best with a full server, but 40 to 50 players is all it took to remind me of how awesome this game is. Now, granted, there are plenty of bugs and glitches, the melee can be janky, but what they have at the core is one solid, super fun gameplay loop. And like Postscriptum, I can't just see it being thrown away. Now, the dev team working on Postscriptum is supposed to be really focusing on optimization and really ironing everything out. If they did the same thing with Beyond the Wire here, regardless of content, I could see a lot of players returning. One thing that is really awesome about Beyond the Wire is how hard it is to shoot, almost encouraging melee. It's almost as if Squad's infantry overhaul was inspired by this. Beyond the Wire is definitely at its best with close combat, bolt action mayhem that eventually goes down to hand to hand combat. Using an awesome Mountain Blade or Mordhau style directional based melee system, it's always at its best when the fighting is centralized. So if we get lucky and this game is revived, I really hope they take away those game modes that have like 12 different capture points in each section. It spreads the fight out too much and it just isn't fun now notice here as I kill one then the other by the time I'm going for my third shot the weapon sway is almost unbearable now a lot of players hated this but given enough time I think they will grow to love it when they realize that it is intentional you are soaked in mud exhausted scared for your life and it is hard to shoot when you realize that this mechanic is meant to inspire or almost force the player to rely on on melee more often, I think we all will grow to love it, especially when you experience some of the awesome, brutal melees that only Beyond the Wire can provide. World War I was the epitome of war, and if you ask me, when it comes to Battlefield 1, Verdun, and the whole World War I game series, I personally think Beyond the Wire is not only the most realistic depiction of World War I we have, but is also the most fun. I'm gonna try to get the rally. Wish me luck. I'm right behind you. Good luck. Oh god, they spawned. <laughs> Come on! I, I, I broke the gas. I broke the gas. Watch out. Use the mask. Use the mask. For mask! Mettez for mask! Uh, build up this ammunition, boys. Guys, put down. Jesus, I, I, I don't, I don't the smoke or on the, on enemy position. Use the gas, mess, and go. I blew up by grenade. Watch 
your right. Thank you, mate. Push in guys, push in now, push in now. I got I got a bead. Push in, push in, push in. Push in, push in. Grenade, grenade, get down. Oh shit! Come on, look up. Let's go. Guys, look up, look up to I think he gets a grenade. I have over usually and uh, I guess that's it. Halloween. Get in, get in, get in, boys. All the way in, well, boys. I think we should turn the way in. Flank around them. We'll die, but okay. We need their back line. Yeah, all their spawns are in the north of us. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Just, Just get in and try and get in now. They're gassing the middle ish of points. I already died. No, Alright. I'm talking. Yep, there's someone over here at your front, at your front. No, that is just uh, one of us. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. Hey. Yeah, there's a valley point that's east. Anybody got like off world gonna miss? Is this thing on? Hey, off world industries. If you can hear me. You must acquire the rights to be on the wire. Now that y'all got that 10 cent money, you can use it for proper advertising. I know there is a massive amount of gamers that would love to play this game, but they don't even know it exists. Anyway, if you've played Beyond the Wire, let me know your thoughts, pros, cons, what do you like, what do you don't like. It is certainly a great time to be a mill simmer, and it was starting to get a little hairy there about a year ago, but we're back on track. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Again, a huge shout out to the RIR guys for inviting me to this session. Same as always, huge shout out to the channel members, the mill simp minions. Of course, I want to thank every Everybody for watching. I will see you boys out on the field, and until next time, y'all be good to each other.